Welcome back. In my previous video, I talked briefly about sorting types and one of them is insertion sort. Now, in this video, we will learn or understand what is selection sort along with some examples. Let us start. What is selection sort? Actually, selection sort is a sorting technique used to sort elements of an array in ascending or descending order. Means, in this sorting technique, we will find the smallest element from the array and place it in the first position of the array. After that, we will take the second smallest number from the array and place it in the second position of the array. In this way, we will sort the entire array in ascending order. Uh, to clearly understand the selection sort technique, let us go through its algorithm and step-by-step -step example. Moving forward, suppose we have seven numbers stored in an array as uh, shown in the list. Here is the list of n numbers, means uh, 12, 9, 37, 86, 2, 17, and 5. And the array index starts with the 0, ends with the 6, right? So let us start. First, the smallest number, find the smallest number stored in the array between index 0 and 6. So the smallest number is 2, right? Smallest number is 2 in the list. Check if the number at index 0 is greater than the smallest number at index 4. If S, then swap the number. Now find the second smallest number stored in the array between index 1 and 6. Here we can saw that the sorted sublist to store the minimum number from the list and unsorted sublist to store the next one, array index of the uh, array index starting from the 1 to 6, right? Now find the second smallest number stored in the array between index 1 and 6. So the second smallest number is in the list is 5 number, which is stored in the array index of the 6th position. Check if the number at the index 1 is greater than the second smallest number at index 6. Means 5 is a small than 9. If S, then swap the numbers. Moving forward. Now, in the third step, we can find out the third smallest number stored in the array between index 2 and 6. So the third smallest number is 9, right? Which is stored on the array index number position of the 6. Check if the number at index 2 is greater than the third smallest number at index 6. If S, then swap the numbers. So here, 37 number swap with the 9. Next one. Now find the fourth smallest number stored in the array between index 3 and 6. So the fourth smallest number is 12, right? Small, fourth smallest number is the 12. Uh, check if the number at index 3 is greater than the fourth smallest number at index 4. If S, then swap the numbers and we can show that swap 86 number with the 12. Now, Find the fifth smallest number stored in the array between index 4 and 6. So the fifth smallest number is 17, right? Check if the number at index 4 is greater than the fifth smallest number at index 5. Means the 17 is the smallest number uh, from the number of fourth index, array index, that is the 86. If S, then swap the numbers. Means here, Swap 86 number with the 17. Now find the sixth smallest number, right? Six smallest number stored in the array between index 5 and 6. So the sixth smallest number is 37. Check if the number at index 5 is greater than the sixth smallest number at index 6. If S, then swap the numbers. Here, 37. 86 number swap with the 37. And now we can see that the entire array has been sorted in ascending order. Means 
2, 5, 9, 12, 17, 37, and 86. At the end of the selection process, means in the selection sort technique, at the process, we can saw the beginning of the list is found into the unsorted format where we can use the sorted sublist and unsorted sublist. But at the end of the selection sort technique, we can find the entire array has been sorted. Now, uh, we can saw the algorithm which is the step used to implement the selection sort in a uh, like through the C programming. Uh, here we have n numbers, right? To store in an array to implement the selection sort of n numbers. And uh, the steps are as follows. See? Step number one, set minimum number to the location zero. Means here in programming, we can assign I assign to 1 to n minus 1, means starting from LB to UB, lower bound to upper bound, n minus 1. Step number 2, search the minimum element in the list, means here we can uh, store the value of I in a variable, smallest position, for an example, minimum assigned to the list of I. Step number 3, swap with value at location minimum. Means if list of J means outer loop is here, we can find out less than minimum, then set minimum assigned to the J means an inner loop of the J inside the body of the outer loop I for selection sort from I plus 1 to N. Next one, increment of minimum value to point to the next element means what if list of I greater than of minimum, then swap. Here we can find out the swapping of the numbers. Set temporary variable. Temp is a variable which stores the value assigned to the i. After that, i assigned to the minimum. Minimum assigned to the temp. Means at the end of the list, minimum value stored into the, sorry, temp minimum value stored into the minimum variable. Means the value at num of j is smaller than value at num of minimum, then store the value of j to minimum. For example, minimum assigned to the j. Uh, outside the body of the inner loop, j check if the value of num of i is greater than the value of num of minimum. If s, then swap the numbers. Uh, now, here we can saw the stored array on the screen outside the body of outer loop i is purely sorted. So let us start a C program to sort an array of numbers in ascending order using the selection sort technique. This is our program. Uh, start for the program. Selection sort. Hash. Sorry. Hash. Include. Stdio dot H. Hash. Include conio dot h after that main function opening of the curly bracket now here integer size j i temp and the list of 100 CLR, SCR, this function is used to clear the screen. Then we can use the printf function to print the size of the list. Enter. Enter the size of list. Scanner. Modulus D, comma, for input section, we can use the variable that is the size variable. After that, print F, enter, enter the modulus D numbers for sorting.
means for i starts from the zero i less than size then i plus plus incremented by one scanner modulus d input section list of i right now we can use the logic of the selection sort logic of the selection sort how we can sort the elements for i equals 0 i less than sides then i plus plus after that this outer loop is here for j equal i plus 1 sorry i plus 1 next one j is less than size and j plus plus next one if if a list of i greater than list of j right then that means what the logic is here means swapping we can performing the swapping through using the temp variable temp assigned to the list of i next one list of i assigned to the list of j next one list of j assigned to the again once again to the time right so closing the curly bracket now here the list is in sorted format right so print a list after sorting through selection sort right which is for i equals zero i less than size i plus plus then print f Modulus D, list of I, here printing the each and every element from the list, right? Get CH, to get the cat, and closing of the, now we can save the program. Selection, sort, dot C. Now we can run the program. For run the program, we can use the shortcut keys, control plus F9. Enter the size of the list. Here, size of the list, we can input the 7. Now, enter the 7 numbers for sorting. Means, the first number is 12. Second one is 9, 37, 86, 2, 17, and 5. We enter the seven numbers into the unsorted methodology. When we press the enter key from the keyboard, at that time, we can convert unsorted sublist into the sorted sublist through the selection sort technique. Right. Now, we can saw that list after sorting uh, through selection sort means 2, 5, 9, 12, 17, 37, and 86. Thank you. Uh, subscribe our channel if you have any query then comment me thank you